you. What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got one from Juan Villarito. All right. All right. Houston uh, comedian. Local Houston comedian. That's dope. That's dope. All right. What we got? This is Brown comedian. Uh, okay. <laughs> Brown comedian. Okay. All right. Well, let's go, man. I'm ready. You ready? Yes. What's up, bro? My name is Juan Villarreal. I'm from Houston, Texas. Hey. Houston, how? What's up, bro? <laughs> Houston, man. Texas, man. That's where uh, the big roaches are. In Texas, right, bro? <laughs> we like roaches, but like in the ashtray. I mean, those are the good roaches. You know why? There's a difference. Hey, get the roaches, or hey, the roaches are coming. <laughs> Texas roaches, y'all don't have them out here. And it's cool because you can sleep comfortable. And Texas roaches are a little scary, honey. Big old roaches, they will punk you. You can be a grown man scared of a roach. I got cousins in LA. I take on them cholos and they, you know what I mean? They're tough dudes, but when these roaches start flying, they scare everybody, bro. You can be a grown man scared. You can be a construction worker, a, a cop, a ninja. It don't matter. When these roaches start flying, they scare you. You be a grown man swinging a roach. Look at this, dog. It's just... oh, hey, hey. Is it on me, bro? Is it on me? Then, then if you don't kill them, you can't even watch TV comfortable. You're looking for this <laughs> all night. You watch the TV, you see something over here like. <laughs> He's coming back, dude. He was mad, man. <laughs> and I grew up really poor, dude. We grew up poor, and people always tell me you should change your material, be no comedy. But I just keep it real. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have to fake nothing. I was real. We had roaches, and we couldn't kill them. My dad, we couldn't afford that raid. That was like five ninety nine a can. You know how my dad killed roaches in my house? with that cheap-ass hairspray Aquanet. <laughs> he was spraying them. My dad would put like a piece of bologna or, or a weenie by the carpet in the living room. My dad would be sitting there with a the hairspray. Okay, come on. He see a little roach coming out to him. My dad would just stop by, uh-huh. <laughs> the roach would just get stuck. He'd be like, oh, man. Oh, hell no. That's messed up, man. That ain't even Ray. That's Aquanet. <laughs> They be roaches fucked on the wall for day. I'm gonna kill them as soon as I get free one. I'm free with them. <laughs> the kid. We had we had rats too. I had rats in my house. I'm not gonna lie. We had rats growing up, and our rats were tough. Right, bro? Texas rats. They don't play. They don't run. They don't <laughs> rats be running under that living room couch, or they go like under the refrigerator. My rats would just walk. They would just walk in the living room. <laughs> you drop a piece of Cheeto or tortilla, they just grab it. <laughs> You got I dropped it, bro. That's my name. Man, we had a rat one time. I had a cousin come stay with me about three or four months ago. He's like a workout. That's why I started losing weight. He was, got me into that. You're long house. You're bad. And work out. And he was like a nutritionist and stuff. Didn't they? Nothing. No candies. Nothing. Just salad. And, and you know those power bars? Those, the things cost like $20 each, dude. <laughs> like 20 bucks each. And he bought five of them. And he had them on top of the refrigerator. And like at the end of the week, he thought that I hate them. You know, I, I keep noticing one missing every day. He thought that I ate him. He was like, man, dude, why are you eating my power bars? I'm like, I'm like dude, I don't eat that. I eat Ding Dongs and Twinkies, dude. I don't even eat chicks cereal that chicks. I don't eat this stuff. So we started looking. Well, that's $100 worth of bars, man. We started looking. And we looked behind the refrigerator, and we see five empty wrappers. And we're like, looking, they're like, oh. like the rat got them. So now we got a little rat with a $100 worth of power bars. Strong one. <laughs> the, 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 rat, the rat would control stuff in my house. The rat would tell you when to go to sleep, when to wake up. Uh, but when you were watching TV and he was sleeping, he didn't want you to watch TV. Like, we didn't have an entertainment center or nothing, right? We had like a little chair or whatever with a little TV, and the rat would let you know when it's time to go to bed. When you watching TV, the rat would just come out the hole like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't say nothing, don't say nothing. <laughs> He's mad right now. He's mad. That's real stuff, dude. <laughs> I my grandma's after that, right? Because the rat scared him. He would try to shoot him. It didn't work. Nothing worked. <laughs> my cousin bought a, a, a 200 pound rat trap. One of those big ones. <laughs> so you put a broomstick handle. Check it out. It's going to break it. <laughs> it would break it. So he's like, oh, it's going to kill him, dude. It's going to kill him. So we put cheese and peanut butter, crackers, and everything. We come back like at 2 in the morning. We hear, ee, 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 ee. You know, it's not like somebody was doing it or something. Like, what? So we go in the kitchen, turn on the light. The rat is working out with a trap. <laughs> I 
That's when we gave him the key. Here go, dude. This is your house. You can have all of this. He's gone. <laughs> I'm gonna live in grandma's. <laughs> That's what I did, dude. I'm gonna go live in my grandma's because I had like the coolest grandma in the world, dude. My grandma was like real cool, dude. We lived with her for a while. She took care of us. And she got like, she turned like 75. They had to amputate her leg. That was kind of sad. We were like kind of sad. Like, oh, we met my little brother like, you know, almost crying. God, grandma's leg is gone, bro. You know, we we're all sad and stuff. But my grandma was so cool. She would come home and like, hey, Nico, it's okay. What's wrong? Why are you sad? Was grandma your leg? It's okay, me. I don't need the leg no more. I had it for 75 years. <laughs> the, the nails that were all messed up and everything, Migo, I'm okay. <laughs> Migo, I go to the store, I buy one shoe, Migo, half price, one shoe, half price. Migo. I got one Air Force One, let me have one Air Force One. <laughs> She's trying to make us feel good. And we got her a prosthetic leg. We bought her a prosthetic leg, but it, it took like two years to pay for it. Cause it was like the early 80s, dude, they were like $1,200. <laughs> so we got her one, but like we made payments on it. I had like layaway or whatever. And I would take my grandma to the store, look grandma. Three more payments, that's your leg. <laughs> my grandma, like, I can't wait, Mijo, it's a pretty leg. You know, the bingo, the dances, everything, Mijo, I can't wait. <laughs> my dad, my dad was a welder. My dad made her one out of steel, but she didn't like it. He was tearing up the carpet and scuffing up the floor and everything. <laughs> it's too heavy, Mijo, I mean, not, we not tearing up everything. Like, it. <laughs> it was too heavy, dude. She would pick us up from school, and you could hear her coming like two blocks down. King, <laughs> oh, my friend, hey, your grandma's coming. <laughs> But my grandma, my grandma can do stuff their grandma couldn't do. I'd be like, so do? My grandma can do stuff your grandma can't do. Watch this. Grandma, <laughs> can you write my name in the street? Okay, me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's my grandma. And we used her a little bit. I used my grandma because uh, I grew up, yeah. right? And uh, I got a job. I was living with her when I got a job. And I found out about funeral leave. <laughs> now, I didn't know what funeral leave was until I started working. And it was like, funeral leave is some stuff that white people invented. That means like if you, like somebody dies in your family, they let you go home for three days, and they pay you. When I found out, my grandma was dying three to four times a year. <laughs> and she would always die on a Wednesday. Hey, California, my name is Juan Villarreal. Thanks a lot, people. Thank you very, very much. Keep it going now. Juan Villarreal in the highlight. Okay. This is get a long weekend <laughs> on a Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, you know what day? Uh, every single month. That's <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, man. And talk about the roaches, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't play roaches. Nigga said man. one roach. <laughs> no, one rat. It was a rat. It was a rat. You got the power bars. Strong rat. Ah, uh, man. Ain't made a hundred dollars with the power bars. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, he <was> strong. <laughs> that should be scary. Oh, man. You got a strong little muscle rat running around. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Nigga just coming to get a Cheeto. Nigga grabbing a Cheeto. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, like, what if it was like a con? Like, I, I, know, I know, sadly, for some people that is common. But, yeah. you know what I mean? But, like, imagine, like, if, if we just lived with those things. Like, oh, there's I so wouldn't. many rats and so many roaches no, everywhere. I would like, have to move. I nah, I mean, like, you can't move away from them. What do you mean I can't move away? Like, there's just so many of them that you cannot escape them. That's, you're talking about a horror movie. I would have to. <laughs> like, what kind of situation I'm I in where there's so many rats I can't move away? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine how intolerable that shit would be. Nah, then I guess I'll just have to make friends with them. Yeah, be like, roaches and shit. Joe's like, apartment. <laughs> you ever seen Joe's apartment? Oh, yeah. With them fucking roaches? They helped them out in the end. Two of them friends. Or the rat catcher from uh, Suicide Squad. She controlled the rats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get one of them things. Yeah, I can see that type of situation. But if I was just like <laughs> one of the rats or something, <laughs> they saw me as an equal or something, I'd have to leave. Oh, yeah. Time to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, I was watching TV, rats. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, nigga, it's time to go to bed. I'm missing the cousin. <laughs> you got a million cousins. How the fuck am I supposed to know what cousin you missing? Oh, 